Hi, today we're fixing a water temperature control problem on this Freelander TD4. So the car is virtually perfect now, apart from one little issue, uh, which you might be interested in if you've got the same issue, is that the uh, temperature on the uh, engine temperature gauge hardly ever moves up more than about a quarter of the way across the dial. And the temperature of the air coming out of the uh, heater inside the car is not really warm enough. So ordinarily you would just change the thermostat in the engine because this sort of thing is caused by a stuck open thermostat not closing properly. It's a bit of a pain on this engine though looking through the workshop manual because it involves uh, removing the camshaft cover, removing the water pump and the drive belts and so on uh, which is a pretty big job instead. But this sort of thermostat in the outlet pipe of the engine over here and you can just about see down there, we'll have a look in a minute where it joins onto the engine. Um, now to get a bit better access, you could remove this uh, inlet manifold part. So a couple of screws here, here, remove some of these uh, pipe fittings and so on. Uh, not too difficult to do that, give you a bit more visibility. Uh, you probably could do it um, just by leaning down and uh, looking in there, uh, leaving it in place. And what we need is a little Dremel with a little cutting disc on it, because we need to cut through the uh, clamp that's on the pipe. Let's just show that now. So here is, you can see that, yep, there's the pipe with that metal band around it, uh, going into a plastic fitting with the engine. So we just need to cut through that. Uh, we don't, what we don't want to do is cut through or damage the rubber. So don't want to cut all the way through that metal band, just enough to weaken it. And then we'll get something like a screwdriver and maybe these pliers to try and split the rest of the metal off. And then rather than drain the whole system down, just going to let a bit gush out, maybe block it quickly and fit our thermostat. So what we're going to do is fit it that way around. So in the end of the tube, we're going to push it all the way home, put the tube back on again, uh, put some Jubilee clips around the hose, want to hold this in place and want to seal it back on the engine and job done. So it should be relatively quick. Let's have a go. So here we go with our cheap uh, Dremel drill equivalent. And so after a careful bit of grinding and trying to protect the rubber by putting a screwdriver next to it as well while you're cutting, you can now prise that band off. So it's starting to get a little bit of water seepage and it's going to come gushing out in a minute when we pull the pipe off. So what I've done to try and block that when that does happen is uh, got tissue but inside a rubber glove and then we can jam that inside the hole hopefully whoa all right so there's a quick block of the uh, pipe on the engine side I've lost a little bit of coolant not too much and here's the thermostat that we're putting in uh, see the video description for links for buying this thermostat I need to push that a bit deeper so it's just gonna have to put the camera down all right that's just about enough of the thermostat need to have enough rubber left at the end so you can clamp it. Uh, talking about clamps, here's our Jubilee clips. So I think we'll put it on that way around. Make it a little bit easier. And there we are with our Jubilee clips fitted and the hose back in place. That second Jubilee clip, that one to uh, the left hand side, I suppose there. Probably not really needed because I'm sure um, that thermostat's not really going to move um, down the pipe at all. Um, second uh, Jubilee clips just uh, clamping the thermostat. Uh, to do these uh, Jubilee clips up, useful to have a little wrench with a 7mm socket on the end. Then you can just uh, get it in like that and do it up. Uh, so that's it. Just got to reassemble that part of the manifold. I did take it off in the end just uh, a fraction more um, room clearance. You could take this inlet manifold part off as well. I was a bit more involved in doing that and there's just about enough room to see uh, to do the job. You need to bleed the air out of the cooling system because there's going to be some air that's gone into this pipe. So first of all refill your expansion bottle and loosen this little uh, screw bolt here. Little plastic thing until you start to get bubble free antifreeze coming out. Um, then you need to run the engine until it's got up to temperature 
and then you'll start getting water flowing out of this pipe which will probably um, flush out some of the air so again bleed it look out for hot water and top it up once it's uh, cooled down I do that a few times to uh, make sure that you haven't got any air in the system and now with the engine warmed up you can see we've got a normal temperature reading and the air let me just turn the engine off and the air coming out is also nice and warm a lot warmer than what it was previously so that's how to do a quick fix of your engine cooling temperature thanks for watching good luck with yours bye